comes to intentionally making anti-inflammatory food that are good for our gut health and that will help to stop bloating, it's important to be very intentional with what we are consuming each portion of the day. So as you could see earlier, I went ahead and actually started off my day with some herbal tea. I always love to start off my day with some Jamaican guaco tea. This really helps with digestion, menstrual cramps, it's antiviral, antibacterial. The link is in description box if you're interested in purchasing. Now, I usually love to break my fast with fruit or a fresh cold pressed juice. This helps digestion and helps to prevent bloating because when you wake up, there's absolutely no reason for you to be consuming a heavy, heavy proteins and heavy heavy starches because you were just asleep and just resting for seven or more hours so it's important to slowly introduce things into your body when you wake up instead of having a fruit salad or a cold pressed juice i'm actually choosing to make this absolutely delicious smoothie with superfoods like ashwagandha and maca powder i can include the ingredients in the description box down below I'm gonna go ahead and prepare a super yummy and tasty green juice. This has a whole heap of different greens like dandelion greens, watercress, kale, whole heap of something. And this can also help with digestion, inflammation, and help to de bloat your system while providing overall immune boosting properties. I'm not drinking this right after I had that smoothie. I'm actually basically just like meal prepping this or batch juicing. This juice is gonna last me for the next three to four days. And I'm using my amazing cold press juicer, the Kuvings Auto 10, if you're interested in it. A coupon code named Ital Eats will be included in the description box down below for 10 percent off what i really love about this juicer is actually that it's completely hands-free once you put everything into the hopper you can literally step away and watch it do its magic and it takes under two minutes to get everything done Lots of people like to opt out of juicing because they say that it's really time consuming and that they don't have time to be making all these juices every day. But I don't, I hardly make a juice every day. What I love to do is, like I said earlier, batch juicing. This juice could last me for even more than three to four days if I were to freeze it in BPA free plastic water bottles. That could last me for like a month, honestly. And I would just thaw them out for a few hours before I am ready. So, honestly, when it comes to your health, there's no excuse. So when I used to use one of those cheaper fast juicers that, that you can find on Amazon or anywhere else, juicing used to take me a long time. First of all, it used to take me forever to clean up the strainer. Everything would get messy and the pulp was super dry. But when it comes to this juicer, I honestly and truly am in love because the pulp is super dry, which basically means that all of the nutrients are in the juice. When you have wet pulp, it means that a lot of your nutrients and a lot of the juice is still in your pulp. So you're gonna have to run it through a couple more times times. Okay, is, is it going? Hello, 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 hello. Shh, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I'm about to go run some errands and I'm deep conditioning under this. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Welcome back to another I Tell Eats and Treats video where we prioritize health and longevity. First things first, I would like to say thank you all so much for 4,000 subscribers. We are almost halfway to 10,000 and that is so amazing. For the past two years or so, I have been focusing on short form content and so I have quite a healthy following on Instagram. I have just reached 130,000 on Instagram, but now I'm missing long form content a lot. I started to get back on my YouTube grind and it feels really awesome. So thank you all for being here and thank you all for watching. 
watching and supporting. When I reached 100,000 followers on my Instagram account, I actually gave away a free Kuvings Revo 830 juicer, which is retail to about $700. And I definitely want to give another one when I reach 10,000 on YouTube. So let's make that happen because I'm going to definitely do some sort of giveaway when I hit the big 10 here on the YouTube platform. So yes, definitely make sure you're following me on all the platforms. I am on obviously Instagram, as I just said. I'm on TikTok. I'm here on YouTube. I'm on Pinterest. Yes, I'm a Pinterest girly. I absolutely adore Pinterest. But most importantly, my website where you can find all of my recipes and you can also print them are available on www.italeatsandtreats.com. So I just came back from a three-month trip to Latin America and the Caribbean, and I'm literally going on another trip next month for the summer. It's going to be about a month and a half. It's not going to be as long as my previous trip, but it's going to be in Europe and I'm really excited. I'm going to be hitting up a couple of different countries. I have a music festival to go to. It's all, it's all holy, but holy but things are one. And if you want to see content like that, like I said, I'm going to be hitting up multiple countries and it's going to be exciting to be able to do like food tours, vegan food tours, of course, and all of these other countries. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Anyways, I feel like I'm talking a lot. I recently got some lion's mane's mushroom and I've been eating them up. They are literally so delicious and they're so expensive. And I have some in my fridge that are about to go bad. Muffa cookie top right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do a really creative like vegan curry chicken, Jamaican curry chicken, but obviously no chicken. I'm gonna be using like lion's mane mushroom instead. So I'm really excited for that. So please join me. The recipe for that will be linked in bio. I also have to go run errands. So let me cook this really quickly and then just go on the road and do everything Muffa do today. So when it comes to anti-inflammatory foods and properties and herbs, Turmeric is one of the best things that you can consume for anti-bloating and overall digestion and supporting your gut health. And in this recipe today, we're gonna to be making a vegan Jamaican curry chicken, but instead of using curry chicken, we're using a lion's mane mushroom. If you're interested in the recipe, it can be found in the description box down below on my website, italeatsandtreats.com. Turmeric is a powerhouse superfood. Honestly, I believe everyone should be consuming turmeric every day. If you have an upset stomach, mixing turmeric, a little bit of black pepper, and ginger can honestly solve so many things. Jamaican curry powder has a base of turmeric and other spices and seasonings, so using this is going to be very amazing, but also be sure to pair Jamaican curry with ginger so it not make your belly hurt. Also, the ginger just really brings out the flavor of the curry. Anyways, I'm chopping up all of my fresh seasoning and I'm trying to keep this dish as alkaline as possible. Literally, the only things that are not alkaline in this dish are the garlic and a few other seasonings, but those can easily be excluded to make this full dish alkaline Dr. Sebi approved. Go ahead and tear these lion's mane into little like chicken size bits. This dish is incredibly easy to cook, but it can also be replaced with oyster mushroom because that's the next mushroom that has a similar meaty texture. Now I'm also opting to use chayote or chocho as we would say in Jamaica instead of using potatoes, but the recipe calls for potato. It is totally optional to use chayote, but like I said, I wanted to make this dish more alkaline Dr. Sebi approved. And chocho can literally be eaten raw. It's not a huge heavy starch carbohydrate like potatoes are so that is definitely going to help with anti-bloating anti-inflammatory and the overall digestion and processing of this dish
Now, Jamaican people would normally serve a nice curry alongside some white rice, but I feel like white rice is not really that great for you. Yes, it tastes amazing, eh, but it's not that great for you. And a lot of people say that they have digestion issues when it comes to rice. So the next best thing would be to serve this with some white quinoa. It absorbs flavor well, just like white rice does, but of course you can eat this with whatever you desire. I personally did not have any white rice or white quinoa in the pantry on this day, so I opted to make some teff flatbread. It was gluten-free and it was only two ingredients and it tasted absolutely amazing. I literally didn't even really use a fork. I just kind of dipped the flatbread into the curry and this was so satisfying, so delicious, so warming and so Caribbean. The next meal of today is just literally two green apples served alongside some homemade alkaline walnut butter. You can of course have the green apples as is, you could have the walnut butter as is, and we all have a freedom of choice, okay? But I wanted to add this to make it more filling and to make it more protein dense. Here is a hint to make your homemade nut butters more easily digestible and gut friendly. You can soak your nuts overnight, which is also known as sprouting. Let them dry in the oven and and roast for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you can go ahead and blend them this is going to really help with digestion and overall help your gut health and may help to prevent bloating So to end off my day, I'm making a delicious soup for dinner. I feel like blending soups, my stomach always digests them way better than soups that are like chunky and have different textures. And I feel like this is because the blending is basically like pre-chewing, it's like baby food. My stomach has less to digest, I don't know. So whenever I drink blended soups, my stomach feels really good and not bloated. This is my coconut curry lentil soup that is found on my website and also linked in the description box. The curry powder has a base of turmeric, there's ginger in here, there's garlic in here, it's anti inflammatory it's antiviral and it's freaking delicious we are not quite in spring yet so i feel like having a nice and easy soup is perfect for those rainy cloudy days when summer has not yet seemingly approached so this was super easy to make took less than 30 minutes to put together and was on my plate in front of me in no time thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a beautiful day and i'll see you on the next video bye